gonna do a drive video. I'm a, I just got out of Cedar Brothers. Uh, we're gonna go down here on Wabash. There is a sign. I guess I, I'm told they're gonna repave this, and new homes are going in down here about crossing the soccer place. So we'll <laughs> hopefully we can get out of here. But anyway, this is the news for this week, kind of, or at least for today. Yeah, this needs paving. I forget where, the sign was back there. I think it said November 7th. I can't remember what it said. If they were closing it or what. I don't have my little stabilizer foam up here on the camera. It looks like there's, those guys look like pavers right there. But see here on the left, this open field. I got a feeling that's, the, I believe that's, somebody said they had a, uh, a meeting here, you know, locally for the new homes going in. Yeah, this used to be the boonies out here. <laughs> there used to be nothing out here but groves. But I believe this would be Redlands, so I don't think I saw anything about the new homes. Usually it's in the paper, you know, though. Comes up before the planning commission and they get approval. But I guess it's going to be this chunk on the left. Yeah, Wabash would be City Redlands. City Redlands, were all, they also the next end of the Mentone sphere of influence, I guess. They, uh, cause they, they supply the water, I believe, and they, and the police. The sheriff does Mentone, but actually Redlands has got a finger of land that goes clear out to uh, uh, Bryant Street. They got a long finger that, and then they got a finger that goes up Garnett to Florida over to by Arnott's stand. Speaking of stands, I need to stop by. Is Sokol's open? I need. Nah, they don't look open. Sokol's Farms right there on the right's got a stand. They got honey and, and uh, eggs and stuff. I don't see anybody there. I don't see a sign. I wonder if they moved over where they sell at. Anyway, that's the new homes going in. I haven't seen, I'm assuming single story, hopefully single story, or two story like these. Hopefully they're not the stack and pack four stories, because that, that'll, that's gonna cut the view of the mountains for some people. <laughs> I've had friends that, you know, they, like uh, I had a friend that lived by the Mormon church, but that was an empty lot and all of a sudden, boom. Six stories and a guy bugling with a horn on top out their back window. You know, the wife wasn't real happy. Ah, oh, don't tell me it's a mattress. Uh, and the church, I just saw the, the Jacinto Farms to, to run this field here to the right. Uh, I forget which church it is. They're, they just got approved to build their church there. It's a couple years away, but the Planning Commission, I guess, is the one that approved it, the plans. It's a church down in on Oliver Firm, you know, the one of the bigger churches down there. I, you know, they've run out of room uh, with that church there. I guess it could go right here, but I'm gonna go straight. Anyway, that's the changes in East Redlands. East or northeast? Yeah, would well, it be kind of northeast? Wabash would be the east northeast corner. I got a guy that wants to camp on my bumper. I don't know why they do it. If somebody plows into them, somebody not paying attention, plows into them, they're gonna plow into me. I mean, they teach you that in driving school. It's just common sense. You know, don't tailgate the guy in front of you. Because you're liable. If you get shoved into another car, it, it's it's on you. Hopefully I can get across here and get away from this guy. Hate the tailgaters. And if you don't, 
want the stack and pack uh, measure F? Vote no. No shoot shot. They've already tried to pass it. Measure G, I think it was. City shot it down. The, the developers and the people who want the stack and pack, they're back. They call it Measure F now. Yeah, they'll, they'll keep submitting it, rewriting it, trying to seek it by. But if you want to keep, yeah, Redlands, you know, without the stack and pack, that's those four or five story high rise apartments, like down by the DMV that went in. That's stack and pack. And, and the state is forcing them to do that. They have to put up so many new homes or apartments, I forget what it is, but you know, they, the state's forcing them to create new housing, each city, which, you know, screw the, the state, you know, they let the cities decide how they want it to look. If you can't afford it, well, I couldn't afford a house when I moved here. I tried to buy a house for years. And I just didn't make enough money. Being single, it was it was really tough. When you're single back in the 80s, uh, they wouldn't even talk to you. The banks just left. And the interest rates were like 14%. Which was, you know, that's being diligent on their part. But then they cut loose and everybody and their brother could get a loan. That was the big bus that would happen. Now, the Fed just raised it again, 1.75 points. It's up to 8, 8, 9% now, which is going to kill the American dream for a lot of people. There's a lot of people that won't be able to, uh, there's a panda bear out there with a memorial. I wonder what that, that's about in that field. A lot of little dolls and a panda bear. I just wonder what that's about. Anyway, that's the drive around news for today in Redlands. Wabash gets paved, and uh, I guess they would do San Bernardino over there too. San Bernardino and Wabash. See ya.